Welcome back to Good, Good Rockin' Tonight. I'm Terry David Mulligan. This is Corey Hart. I want to ask you very quickly, your involvement in uh, Tears Are Not Enough. Was it satisfying when it was over and done with? When I walked out of that place, I felt like, wow, I really felt like I had done something important. Yep. And, and it, you had that feeling when you were in there doing that. Everyone really was serious about it. And uh, they, they realized uh, what an important thing it was. And uh, I was very gratifying. And I feel real proud that, that, you know, as a musician, I was able to contribute something. That's great. You want to play Cindy Lauper, Money Changes Everything. How come? How come? How come? Yeah. I think she's, I think she's great. I think she's a good singer. And you bought her album? Yep. I did too. Yep. Here's Cindy Lauper, Money Changes Everything, live. Okay, Corey, we got another phone call here. You ready? Yeah. You ready to go? Let's go. All right. Now, I love these things. This is, I want you to meet Veronica Handel, Handel in Montreal, Quebec. Did I get that right, Veronica? Yes, you did. How do you say your last name? Handel. Veronica, have you ever met Corey? Uh, yes, I have, once before. Where'd we meet? Uh, we met at the spectrum. You were signing autographs. Oh, cheers. Okay. <laughs> it was it's... on my birthday on April 14th. Okay, it's your turn to ask questions. Of Corey, you got three way to go. Okay. What, what's your first one? Okay, number one. Um, what qualities do you admire in a person? I think the quality that I admire the most is uh, sincerity and uh, perseverance. And uh, a guy like Molly in here, probably. Or, or, or a girl like Molly. <laughs> <laughs> probably a girl like Molly. Let's get on to the uh, second question now, uh, Veronica. Okay. Um, which artist or artists have you enjoyed touring with the most? Um, I've toured with, uh, I was an opening act for uh, Hall and & Oates and uh, Rick Springfield. I think the one that I enjoyed the most um, was probably with Hall & Oates because I'm a big fan of their music. Yeah, and me too. You are too? Yeah. And, uh, but I, to tell you the truth, uh, I enjoy playing my shows uh, alone. Uh, that's probably uh, what, I, what I like the best. How would you like the show in Montreal? Oh, it's excellent. You liked it? Yeah, I hope you come again. Well, I, I'll be back uh, probably the end of the summer. Okay, great. Okay? Okay, one more quick question. Okay. Um, what is the real secret to why you don't smile a lot? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, what's the real secret? Yeah. What do you think? Uh, I don't know. Maybe just trying to act sexy. <laughs> do you think it works? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, well, I'm smiling right now, okay? Okay, good. Okay, bye. That was it, yes. Okay, we got one more phone call. You ready to go? Yeah. You ready now? Don't smile. No. Here we go. All right. Who are we talking? This is, in fact, I want you to meet Emily Pang, who's in Winnipeg, Manitoba. Emily. Yeah? How you doing? Fine. I got Corey Hart here, and you're uh, live on Good Rockin' tonight. Uh -huh. ask you, go ahead and ask your first question. I mean, we might, might as well get right to it. Okay. Um, from the Screaming Girls. What, start again. Um, from the Screaming Girls. Yeah. To the money, to the famous people you get to meet. To the hard work in touring and recording, how does success turn out the way you thought it would be? Has success turned out the way you thought it would be? Yeah. Did you know it was going to be like this? I think it's more than what I thought it would be. I think that uh, it means everything to me uh, to be able to go and, and write music and uh, perform uh, for my fans, uh, particularly uh, to play for people that, that appreciate what I do. So uh, I just want to work harder and not disappoint anybody. Okay. Okay, Emily, second one. Okay. Uh, how comfortable are you with your sex symbol image? How comfortable are you with your sex symbol image? <laughs> Get your head out there. Okay. Um, I don't have a sex symbol image. It's, it's a big miscalculation uh, by the public. Don't you think? No, not really. Oh. <laughs> well, maybe Manitoba likes me. But, um... Actually, I don't, I don't consider, I'm flattered that, that, that some people think that, but uh, I think uh, Terry David Mulligan is uh, a hell of a lot better looking than I am, or ever will be. Yeah. Did you hear that, Emily? Yeah. <laughs> right. And what's your third question? Okay. Um, with the phenomenal success of First Offense, um, how much pressure was there to come up with another hit album, and yet at the same time prove that you were a strong songwriter? Ah, good question. That's great. I like that question. I felt uh, quite a bit of pressure uh, writing this next album because uh, First Defense did really well for me, and um, I believe that a lot of people were, were waiting to see what you know what I was capable of doing on the, on the next record. And uh, but I'm I'm usually a good guy to react to pressure, and uh, I think this, the, the material on on Boy in the Box is is the strongest material I've ever written. I think I'm seeing the best that I've done in, in a long time, and uh, I just hope. Uh, you know, I hope the fans like it. I hope uh, they're pleased with, uh, with the work on it. Okay, Emily? Okay. Thank you for Thanks so much. Thanks for us. Thanks for having me. 
Okay, I'll, I'll see you this summer, okay? Because I'm touring in Winnipeg. I'll be there in probably July or something. Okay. Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Okay, way to go. Nice feeling. So this is like I like doing the questions. Do. Yeah, yeah, good stuff. Now, you wanted to play uh, Bad is Bad, Huey Lewis. How come you wanted to play that? Because I got a story. Okay, go. Okay. What? I was at the, uh, the Grammy Awards, right? Yeah. In Los Angeles. And... Uh, so I'm sitting there, and, and uh, this is just, the show's been on about 10 minutes, and, and Prince is there, and he's passing out his cards, so and no one talks to him and everything, yeah. and I'm sitting there really nervous, you know, and they're just going to announce my, my nomination. And, uh, and so I'm sitting there, and then Huey Lewis turns around, and uh, he gives me the thumbs up, and he says, good luck, mm -hmm. like that. And uh, I d it just meant a lot to me, because I felt a little bit like an outsider, really having, you know, not met any of these people, and not being a real part of, of the American music scene for a while. And uh, it sort of made me feel real good. Yeah. So uh, this is, uh, I'd like to say, a friend of mine. I, I did talk to him a bit after the show, and he's a great guy and a terrific songwriter, and his band is super hot. This is Huey Lewis, and bad is bad. Okay, Coley, that's the top 20 singles yeah. countdown from coast to coast. A yeah. very special night right here. We got Bruce Springsteen, Simple Minds, the Tears for Fears contest winners are announced. And, and we've got Coley Hart live right here, and nobody else can have him. He's ours. Welcome back to Good Rockin' Tonight. Terry David Mulligan, Corey Hart. When is your birthday again? May 31. May 31? Wish me happy birthday. Happy birthday to Thanks. you. Man. All right. Are you going to do anything special? No. Get up. <laughs> Just another? I'm going to read some fan mail on my birthday. As long as you're breathing, you're all right. Yeah, I'll okay, be okay. Okay, good. All right, fine. Um, I wanted to ask you, we're going to play some Bruce Springsteen right now. You, you must like the man a lot. I do. I do. I, uh, I saw him in concert in Montreal. And uh, I was just blown away. Have you seen him live? Yes, I've seen him live a couple of times now. Yeah, it's fantastic. What is it about it that you like? You obviously like his commitment. Oh, yeah. I just, one, I respect, I respect songwriters, number one. I think he's a fantastic songwriter. Hmm. And uh, moreover, though, I just think the guy believes in what he does. He doesn't care if he's playing for 10 people or he's playing for 10,000 people. And that's really important. You know, if you can go out there and, and put out every night like that and... and and not care, you know, not care. He, the guy went, went unnoticed, not unnoticed, but, but not recognized by masses for a long time and, uh, and, and never gave up any of his commitment to what he's doing, and that's important. Let's show him the latest single. This is I'm on Fire by Bruce Springsteen. One of the hottest contests that we've had, besides the things we've done with you, has been with this Tears for Fears, what do you want to do, uh, what are the things you can do without in your life, yeah. opposed, right? Right. And 50 runners-up are going to get uh, copies of... Uh, Songs from the Big Chair. That's right. Your great album, okay? But the winner, and this was as tough a contest as we've ever done, is from Kate Skid from Battawa, Ontario. And this is what you've just won. Kate, just listen. You and a friend are going to fly to Toronto from Catawa, Ontario. On May the 30th, you'll stay at a top hotel. You get $100 spending cash. You slip into two exclusive Tears Tour jackets. Get two front row seats at the Tears for Fears concert, and then after the show, we'll have they get to hang with the guys, pictures, small talk, the whole pit, uh, cold pizza, stuff like that. You know, you'll also leave with two complete Tears for Fears album libraries, and of course, Why 50 do you of do you. Why do like that? What, well, I will. <laughs> 50 of you will who entered are runners up. So you'll receive an autographed Tears albums. You'll see your names go by. Here is one of the hottest singles on the charts today. Everybody wants to rule the world. Tears for Fears. Congratulations to Kate Skid, Battle Ontario. I hope you enjoy your flight down to Toronto. Pretty, pretty wild. Listen, I want to talk about these for just a second, okay? This is the single for Never Surrender? Yeah, this is a single sleeve. And does it fold out like that? Yeah. Show it, them how it, that it, works. It opens out. And when does this... This comes out Monday, right? Uh, yeah, this will be out Monday. Show them the picture. Yeah. All right, all right. Great picture. Look at this. All right. Okay, fine. And there's the other side. Okay, fine. Yeah. And uh, this is a special copy, right? Does I understand it? Yeah, that... Yeah. <laughs> I'm throwing the This is, uh, you hold it. Okay, fine. Okay. That's just the, uh, 12 inch, uh, single. Okay, fine. Can I put it down there? Yeah, you can put okay, that. Okay, fine. Okay. Now, I want to sign those. Okay, oh, I want fine. to give them away. I know you do. I want to ask a trivia question. I'm getting demanding as a co host. I know you are. <laughs> I want to know when the album comes out. <laughs> yeah. The album? When, when, is it, when is the album coming? Oh, in the box? June yeah. 14. Okay, and the single yeah. comes out tomorrow. The single comes out oh, tomorrow. Monday. 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 You can buy it on Monday. It'll probably be on the radio now, hopefully. Okay, good. Uh, you gonna play Simple Minds? No, you're gonna introduce it. Right okay, there. fine. Don't you forget about me, Simple Minds. Okay, we're, you know we're almost out of time. Yeah. Okay, but we gotta do I a trivia contest. Question. All right. Yeah. You wanna say something special? Yeah. That you've been holding on to? Yeah. Okay. Keep and it we'll, inside. We'll tell them about next week. All right, we'll be right back. Right back. Stay there. Right. <laughs> Do you know the 
show's over? I don't want it to be. It's done. I know. Neither do I. Do you have a good time? Great. Okay. There was lots of questions we didn't ask, like, uh, what's a really, really, really the reason why you don't smile so much? But it's a really, really, really a real answer to that question, right? You can do all the smiling for me. Okay, fine. All right. I'll do it. As long as I get paid for it. Uh, get a pen and paper because we got a trivia question for you while you're thinking about that trivia yeah, question. Right now. Let me tell you that, that the tour dates are coming up and we'll tell you about that as well when you can expect to see Corey live. All right, let's have, first of all, let's do the tour dates. You start in July, right? Yeah, I think we start around the 20th uh, in St. John's, Newfoundland. Okay, a hot summer tour and you come all the way through to the West Coast? Yeah. Lots we'll of dates. play about 25 dates and I'm really excited about it. All the way to Vancouver, Victoria? Yeah. We'll see you again. Okay, now, trivia. What's your trivia question? Okay, this is a tough one. I think everyone said that the last trivia question I asked about Fitzgerald's and it was really easy, so I thought of a harder one. Okay. There was a, a character that played two different roles in Sunglasses at Night and one in Never Surrender, and you've got to identify what roles uh, he played in both those videos. So think carefully. I'll give you a clue. He wears a beard. Uh, okay, the writing, the writing yeah, address is, done. Yeah, okay, is good rocking tonight. Post office box 4600, Vancouver, BC, B6B4A2. And uh, the prizes are autographed posters or singles. These you, things here. Yeah, these things right here, posters or singles, really special things, okay? And uh, you wanted a final word. I know you did, so I'm going to just sit back here and let it go. Okay. Okay? Yeah. Where do I look? Right there. Okay. Um, number one, I'm really happy that, that you guys uh, sent in some mail for me to be on the show because uh, if it wasn't for that, I wouldn't be here in the first place. And uh, secondly, I'd like to say that uh, when I started out uh, in Canada doing my music, uh, not many people took notice of me right off the bat. And uh, one guy that did was uh, this gentleman right to the left of me. And uh, he always believed in me. And uh, I think it's real important to me that I always remember that uh, Mr. Mulligan here was uh, a supporter, and, and you fans, don't cry, Terry, and you fans out there that, that write into me and stuff, you, you owe this guy uh, a lot for, uh, for putting me on the map here in Canada. Anyhow, I'd like to say one other thing, um, be out on tour, I look forward to seeing you out there, and uh, be proud to be Canadian, because I sure as hell am. Okay. You know why I liked you when you first walked in? Because you looked so much like me when I was your age. <laughs> That's you look, it. You look good. That's it. We got to get on. Yeah, we're, we're done. I want to thank you for coming by. I really appreciate it. And take care of yourself. I will. And enjoy Boy in the Box. I sure will. Never Surrender is going to be a bona fide smash. And have you heard the news? There's been some good rocking tonight.